So the University of California in San Francisco is uh, working on a bionic kidney and it's part of the kidney project they call it. Um, it's actually a national research project that the goal is to create a small surgically implanted and freestanding bioartificial kidney and it will treat end-stage renal disease in uh, patients with kidney failure and obviously uh, patients that have end-stage renal disease. Um, it's right now as we know the short-term solution for kidney failure is dialysis but dialysis isn't a permanent fix you're uh, pretty much uh, living on a machine every day or every other day for your life that uh, the dialysis machine does the work of what your kidneys would be doing um, and obviously dialysis isn't as effective as having your own kidney because you can't always be on and connected to a dialysis machine. Um, this is supposed to actually uh, save a lot of money in the healthcare industry as well. So um, the project's being pushed forward by that, which is, which is good news for us as, uh, as patients. And basically what this, uh, what I understand the kidney is going to be is um, it will be, you know, surgically implanted in you. It's going to act just like a regular kidney. It's going to help uh, filter out potassium, phosphorus, uh, regulate your, uh, regulate those, uh, those things as potassium and phosphorus, sodium, regulate all the electrolytes in your body. It's going to also help with fluid removal um, and basically function as a regular kidney. Now, uh, one great thing about this is they're reporting that this is going to have a 0% rejection rate, which uh, obviously with kidney transplants right now, rejection is, the, uh, is uh, an issue because if uh, your body rejects the kidney that you're given, then you're right back to being on dialysis and uh, you have to wait to have another kidney available and right now the kidney waiting list can be up to 10 years to uh, to get a kidney and um, it's not, not not that easy to get one from from what I understand um, I'm really excited about this I can't wait to um, see the progress of it uh, being, you know, that I need a kidney and will uh, be up for a transplant in the future. Um, this is good news for me because uh, this might be an option by the time I'm ready for a transplant. Um, the early reports are saying next year, 2020, could possibly be um, when uh, this can start being used. Uh, there's a lot of clinical trials, testing, FDA approval, everything like that that still has to be done. But they're hoping for 2020 to become, um, you know, when this starts being uh, transplanted into patients. So I'll definitely uh, be looking out for that and I'll volunteer to be one of the patients to give it a try. Um, uh, other than that, um, that's basically the long and short of the project. Um, they're uh, working diligently from what I've read um, to get this done and completed. Um, I know funding, they said they'll need a lot of money to go through the funding with this. I think $3 million is the initial funding that they were looking at. And um, I'm sure that, you know, costs will go on as they continue to develop this and, and get this rolled out. Um, but this should be a uh, a great thing, especially with the zero rejection rate that they're that they're uh, claiming. If that is true, that will be a a huge breakthrough for uh, us kidney patients and uh, help us hopefully get off of dialysis and give everybody new hope. Uh, you know, for a cure for kidney disease. It seems like more and more people are being diagnosed with kidney failure and 
Uh, there's more dialysis clinics popping up everywhere just because there's just not enough uh, room in the clinics right now for people like us uh, to go and be treated. They're, they're all pretty full and um, unfortunately more people are getting sick with, with this disease and uh, different kinds of kidney failures and kidney disease. Um, uh, I'll try to keep you updated from what I can read and find out about this project on uh, if you hear anything let me know in the comments and uh, let me know what you think about this bio uh, bio uh, artificial kidney and this whole project um, hopefully another one of my concerns is that they're not going to price it out of out of touch for for us patients either if they claim it's going to be um, no more than what a kidney transplant would cost a regular kidney transplant so um, I'm hoping that's true that it's affordable for people like you and I and uh, that we can get this done when it comes out um, and it's not out of reach as far as that in a financial sense either um, but that's it for today thanks for watching uh, have a great day thanks for watching please check out the newest video to your right or the suggested video to the left and please click on the center icon to subscribe to the channel to be notified of all new videos coming in the future. Thanks and have a great day.